we're going to have a look at how we can see fraction as division. Let's start with something from primary school. If we've got four pizzas that need to be shared equally between two students, how many pizzas does each student get? Well, we know that if we're going to take four pizzas and divide them between the two students, we're going to have to do four divide by two to get the answer. And from the picture, we're just going to split the pizzas between the two. So this person gets those and this person gets those. So obviously we can see each student gets two. Not difficult at all. OK, let's have a look at a slightly more interesting scenario. In this case, we've got only two pizzas that need to be divided equally among three students. So we want to know how much of a pizza each student will receive. Well, we have the scenario where those two pizzas need to be divided among the three students. So what we're going to do is take two and divide it by three. If we were actually doing it in reality, what we'd end up doing is cutting each pizza into three pieces and so that we can get each person can get one of the pieces from each pizza and so what each student will get is a piece from the first pizza and a piece from the second pizza so from the first pizza if you see we've cut pizza we've cut it up into three pieces so each of those pieces is a third of a pizza so each student will get a third from the first pizza and they'll get another third of a pizza from the second pizza. So in total they'll get two-thirds of a pizza. So each student receives two-thirds of a pizza. So what we see is that if we take two and we divide it by three we get two-thirds. Let's have a look at another example. Let's imagine now we have five pizzas and four students that want to share them equally. Well, again, we're going to take the five pizzas and divide it between four students. If we were to do this in reality, we would be cutting up each pizza into four pieces, and then each of the students could take one piece from each pizza. Because we've cut the pizza up into each pizza up into four pieces, each of those pieces is a quarter of a pizza. And so each student will get a quarter of a pizza from the first pizza, a quarter of a pizza from the second pizza, etc, etc. So in total, they'll get five quarters of a pizza. So they get five quarters. And this shows us that five divided by four is the, gives the answer five quarters. So five divided by, the, by four is the same as five quarters. So what we've seen is that we can rewrite division as a fraction. So we've looked at the fact that 4 divided by 2 is just 4 over 2, which is 2. Or 2 divided by 3 is 2 over 3. And 5 divide by 4 is the same as 5 over 4. And it's really good to know that you can rewrite any division as a fraction or any fraction as a division because sometimes it's going to be easier to see things or do things with one form rather than the other. So for example if I have 15 over 5 I can know immediately that's 15 divided by 5, which is just 3. Or if I have something like 3 times 2 divided by 2, I can see it very nicely if I just rewrite it as a fraction. And I can then say, oh yeah, those cancel, and I'll get my answer of 3. So. You can always write it either way, and being able to move flexibly between both of those is very useful.